In 2012, you helped us raise over $30,000 to make Seeds of Aloha, and we want to thank you. In 2014, you helped us to fund $60,000 to film two messes of Hawaiian music, and we want to thank you for that. Now in 2015, we're asking you to help George Kahumoku Jr. and I once again so that we can tell the stories of two more masters of Hawaiian music. My biggest concern is that uh, hopefully when we, we listen to all of the masters of Hawaiian music is that we will perpetuate and keep the history of Hawaiian music uh, so that the next generations to come will be able to see it when eventually when we're all lost and gone. But they'll hear directly from the masters their point of view about how they felt about their music. I think it's important for each master of Hawaiian music to tell their own um, story because then it'll be from them directly. It's not like, uh, you know, it won't be filtered to somebody else. It'll be directly from the masters themselves. This year, Uncle George and I want to make films about Martin Pahinui and Brother Nolan. One of Hawaiian music's most gifted vocalists, Martin Pahinui, has performed with a host of top artists, including his father's legendary Gabby Pahinui Hawaiian band, the Peter Moon Band, and Slacky supergroup Hui Aloha. After nearly a half century making music, Martin reflects a firm commitment to both honoring and extending the Pahinui Slack Key legacy. Uh, Martin Pahinui is a master of Hawaiian music because he carries on the traditions that was set by his dad, um, uh, Gabby Pahinui. And being the youngest, he was always the one who was around uh, to, to share in the music, you know. What's so unique about Martin Pahinui's voice is that he sounds the most like his dad out of all his brothers. Once you hear his voice, you know that's the Pahinui family. That's Gabby's own voice coming alive, you know. To me, it's important to bridge the gap between uh, the days of Gabby Pahinui and how um, Martin Pahinui carries on the legacy of his dad, the Pahinui family, but he has his own, um, he has his own two cents to the music as well. I know a great Hawaii. It made of stone, it made of sand. Composer, author, innovator, traditional Hawaiian man, Brother Noland has deeply influenced Hawaiian music and is considered the father of Jawaiian music. Yet he remains in touch with traditional Hawaiian music and cultural roots. Fluid in both slack key and standard guitar tunings, Brother Noland goes wherever the music carries him. Brother Nolan took the traditional Hawaiian music as we know it today from the old timers and from the masters and from the kupunas and he put his own twist to it. He calls it Nolanizing his music. The other thing about um, Brother Nolan was really important is he actually attracted a whole ne next generation who will be listening to Hawaiian music. Hey boy, turn on the motor. Okay, I'll go. Hey boy, turn on the motor. <laughs> Brother Nolan is most famous for his song Coconut Girl, which launched the Jawaiian contemporary style of music. He has won numerous Hoku awards, including Best Reggae ahead, Album, and his music is featured in several movies including Pineapple Express and Snakes on the Plain. Brother Nolan lives aloha and you can hear it in every note he plays. Brother Nolan is, is really rooted in Hawaiian music because his roots come from you know, Kona and from Waimea on the Big Island. That's where we come from. And that's where the music started, uh, a lot of the music, the slacky music started from. And he's probably one of the greatest uh, living songwriters of our time right now. As you can see, Brother Nolan and Martin Pahinui are two more masters of Hawaiian music whose stories need to be documented for future generations. And documenting it is one of the best ways to ensure that Hawaiian culture and music is perpetuated. But we need your help to do it. Our goal is to raise $60,000 so we can tell their stories in a manner that is deserving of their importance to Hawaiian music and culture. We will use the funds to produce broadcast quality feature length documentaries on both Brother Nolan and Martin Pahinui. And we will begin to distribute them to broadcast television, educational facilities and schools, and to all of you who love Hawaiian music. Each story will, will have its roots in a, in a different, uh, what we call vahipano, or a different place. Through the video and through movies and the filming, we will actually be able to 
conjure up the same feeling for the for the audience, for the listeners, so that they can actually see the places that uh, these songs were created about. Uncle George and I want to invite you to get involved with us in documenting these two musicians by contributing to our campaign. As we know from past campaigns, every donation counts, and together we can achieve great things. And we have some wonderful incentives and gifts to say thank you for your support. By contributing to this campaign, you can help share the values that these musicians and Uncle George have shared with all of us through the telling of their stories. Don't pass up this opportunity to be a part of Masters of Hawaiian Music hosted by George Kahumoku Jr. As these films will be the source of information for future generations on Hawaii's rich musical history and one of the best ways to ensure that the legacy of Hawaiian music lives on. Please support Uncle George and I in our endeavor to document Masters of Hawaiian Music through our film series by contributing to our Kickstarter campaign. We want to thank you for your time and your support. Please support our efforts to continue our series on the Masters of Hawaiian Music. Mahalo nui loa. Aloha.